Got Peter Schiff on the line for us. He's joining us on the phone this morning. Peter, I, I know that you, are, you, you think the euro is finished. I, I probably agree with you on that. I want to know what your time frame is. When well, does this, uh, the bottom fall out of the euro? Well, I, you know, I didn't say it's finished yet. It's pretty premature. I think that the currency is fatally flawed by design. I said that when they first formulated it. Uh, but I, I, there certainly are enough resources in Europe among the wealthier nations if they want to squander them uh, to keep this going and perpetuate the moral hazard. But they have serious problems that they need to address. But I think what's more important for us here in America is we have to recognize the similarity. You know, people say that Germany needs Greece because Greece are buying the German products. Well, they're buying German products with their own money. That's what's happening with China and America. We're China's Greece. And if you look at what's going on right now in Europe, you just mentioned Spanish yields above 7%. What's going to happen when American yields rise above 7%? Do you think the U.S. government has a trillion dollars a year just to pay interest on the national debt? So we, we, we are not too far behind what's happening in Greece and Spain. And, 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 well, and when... Yeah. Well, hold, on, hold on a second. I, I, I take your point, but I want to know why gold isn't going up. I mean, it's actually down five bucks today in a, in, a, in a crisis day. Why isn't it going up? Yeah, you know, I own a lot of gold. I own a lot of gold stocks. And over the last six months or a year, they really haven't gone up. In fact, the gold stocks have gone down over a longer time period, of course. Over the last 10 years, gold has done very, very well. So a lot of these problems have been anticipated in the gold market for years. Why it hasn't had a bigger move recently, I think that is more to do with the relative strength of the dollar versus other fiat currencies, which I think is temporary. I also think people are fooled into thinking that the treasuries, U.S. treasuries, represent a safe haven alternative to gold. I think that people who are piling into treasuries are going to regret it. I think that that's a bubble that's going to burst. I'm confident that eventually people will find their way back to gold. The safe haven buying will go to gold. People who understand the risks not only of the euro, but of the dollar and other fiat currencies, will buy gold. And one day, Stuart, you're going to come into work one morning, and gold will be up $100 an ounce, $200 an ounce, and just go straight up. All it's right. much better to own it before that happens than to try to chase it after it does. Peter Schiff, we're going to work on your camera shot so we can actually see you in the future. I, I, I was we'll bring waiting. You back I was soon. there. <laughs> Peter Schiff, everybody. Thank you very much indeed, Peter. We'll see you soon, I promise.